Hi guys, welcome back to the Autosportivo YouTube channel. I'm Ants and this is Raj from Ride Effect. You know JP and you know Maxwell. If you've just come over from the Drive Tribe channel, hello, and don't forget to hit that like button and the hit the subscribe button. And today, what have we done? Just a roundup, isn't it? Of, the, of what um, we've done to the car. Yeah. And we're just about to take it for MOT as well. So, what have we done on it? Go on, JP, you give them a little round. What have we done? You worked on it, not So me. we had a little issue. We had a little issue, <laughs> didn't we, guys? Yeah. That kind of longed things out. Yeah. So the suspension forks at the front, they are known to crack, and both sides cracked on this. So we Did, had My one to... didn't crack. Mine went with a frigging bang, and it, it was, echoed the garage. It was exploded. His exploded yeah. like a bomb. Yeah. So it kind of delayed things, uh, didn't it? So yeah. we had to wait a couple of days for them to arrive. So now it's got new ones at the front. All the callovers are on. Um, brakes are sorted out. Brakes are all sorted out. Yeah. Uh, subframe. Subframe. Caliper. Uh, God, it's been loads, loads. loads. A full service. We have done loads to this car. And today is D Day. We're going to MOT it. We'll get it retested now the bits are done. And we will see how it gets on. But the good bit Mr. Raj from Ride Effect is going to transform the look of the car today, aren't you? I am indeed. This is Raj, and everybody who's been watching our channel is the only detailer we know, no, we use. He's the only yeah. detailer, we <laughs> that. Number we one. That. He's the only detailer <laughs> that we way. use, and we wouldn't let anybody on our cars, would we? We don't trust no one else. No, just Raj. Just Number Raj. Ride right effect man. From Rice right. right effect. <laughs> the right effect. Oh no, that's not going on YouTube. It is. Oh no, that's not, staying on. That's no, staying, right on. Right. staying on. That's not going on YouTube. He affects the right ride. effect. No, and then right. JP will show you his number plate. Rice. Rice. Do not tarnish my name. So we're going to hand it over to you. We're going to hand it over to Raj. And once you're done, then we'll take it for an MOT. Cool. Happy days. Good stuff. Very good. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Right, I know you guys have been extremely busy doing the bits that are outstanding on the car, so uh, you want to uh, take us through what you've been doing? Yeah, let's go front to back. So basically we had to replace those forks. Yep. These forks that are really known for splitting, both of them split when we replaced the suspension um, in the last video Drive Tribe did with us. Um, so we had to source some, it's an absolute nightmare, pain in the backside, getting yes. a hold of a pair, you know, <laughs> Yes. we all tried, we've all been running backwards and forth, but got them, so yeah, they're fitted up nicely, the suspension's been refitted, I took them down, fit these, put it all back up. Um, <laughs> it's been fair of bad news, right? Yeah. But you are literally, the camera cannot pick up your face, you are like a silhouette The wrong way, right that's now. why, should be filming this way. <laughs> there we go. Right, so. Yeah, so they, they're done, that's all done. Everything's all buttoned up. Drive shafts all bolted in, new drop links, new track rod ends, everything's all done up, both sides. So that's been done. Uh, we fitted the wipers. What else did we do? We, we haven't had to do a huge amount. We did most of the work, to be honest. Um, well, it's looking good. I mean, look at that nice new subframe. That's beautiful, yeah. Looking. We zapped all of that up, made sure everything was torqued down. Fitted the wheels, all lovely. Yes. Got new tires, new centre like caps. Them. They look very good, actually. We need to drop the car and actually see how it sits on the ground now, because no one's got any idea how low it actually is. It might even come off the ramp. It might sit lopsided. It might sit lopsided, yeah. I mean, we've all messed it about with those rear shock adjustments. It's going to probably drive interesting <laughs> <laughs> on the way to Raj's uh, place. Oh, yeah, we also did. Not Raj's place, sorry. On the way to. Um, MOT. MOT. We finished doing the, the rear calipers, a new rear caliper on the back. Yeah. Um, we had to bleed the whole system, which was a bit of a nightmare because on these you've got to bleed the brake calipers and you've also got to bleed uh, from the booster in the engine bay. Um, you've got to bleed there as well. So there's a lot of bleeding involved. But the brake fluid in this car was 
dark green. It was horrible. It had to be done. So we done it all. It's got fresh brake fluid in it, which was 100% necessary. So yeah, we've kind of got the car ready to go now. Now it's case dropping off the ramp. Take it outside. We're going to get Ride Effect, Ride from Ride Effect to come in and give it a proper detail clean. Let's see how this rattle can paint comes up. I mean, if anyone can make it look good, Raj is the man. Um, and then we take it for MOT. See how it goes. Let's go. Let's go. So um, we are in the car, we're road testing it. Yep. It's the first road test. It is. We're road, road testing test. it on the way to the MOT. Yeah. <laughs> That's always, uh, isn't that, what could possibly go wrong? Exactly. We don't have a backup car, guys. Uh, the Kajar is, is in the garage, chilling. That noise was definitely there before, I'm not sure that is. It was. Is that what you said the wheel bearing noise was? No, the wheel bearing was a wheel bearing. No, that's exhaust. That's exhaust touching the touching. bumper, isn't it? Sounds like a tyre touching the inner arch. It does, but it's not. It can't be. It's not. It's, it's exhaust noise. What so, could it be? Oh, OK, never mind. There is no headroom in the back of this car, I might add. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, <laughs> This is me sitting normally. I'm not even, like, lifting. Uh -huh. This is definitely an Italian car. Can I be honest, though? But you're half Italian. That's you know what? Italian, yeah, it drives nice. It did drive nice yeah, on the way up. It's nice. It's got real torque. Like, this is so much better than the V6. But we don't get the noise. Ride height is good. I, I mean, it's you, probably because you haven't seen it on the floor for a while. But as soon as I dropped it, I noticed it's definitely lower. Yeah, oh, no, 100%. And it's quite a nice height. It's like it's lowered, but it's not stupid. Like you could drive this in bumpy areas, it's gonna be alright. Yeah. So the standard setting that BC have put is just good it's enough. Sensible setting, yeah. It's yeah. road setting. It's not stupid track setting where you're going to hit every road bump. Mm. Suspension feels good, though. It it's does. It's not that hard. I no. thought it was going to be rough. So did I. But, but you, don't, you, don't know, you don't know what setting it's on. Yeah. It was somewhere in the middle, I think. But it's even so, like it's not. It's not hard. Not a hard I mean, ride. You're driving it, so how does it feel compared to a standard one? You know what a standard one kind of feels like. Do I? I don't know, I'm assuming so. <laughs> I mean, how did Alex's feel compared to this? I mean, I drove this to the MOT, so I guess when I drive back, I can notice the difference. Do I? you know what? I don't know, because I'm not bloody ben taking it around bends at full throttle and stuff, but otherwise, normal casual driving. Does, does it, do you feel like you can feel what the car's doing more? Like, can you? you get more response back from the car because of the stiffer suspension. It's hard to, um, if I'm honest, I'd love to say yeah, but. You haven't really driven this car before. No. no. I drove it before, so maybe on the way back, if I drive it. Maybe we should. I can compare it. Change the setting, put it on hard or something. Cause I think that is just, feel to me that feels normal. But I'm only doing 20, 30 miles an hour. Yeah. And I'm not going around any bends. I mean, enough. it feels good though. That's the thing. It For coilovers, it doesn't feel harsh. Like no, you're going o you're going over bum bumps and stuff like that. Yeah. And this is not a smooth road, and it's not. A yeah, yeah. But it's it cruising. It doesn't it's feel like a harsh no. ride when you change shocks and springs. Yeah, yeah I mean, look at my hard bath. I change the shocks and springs on that, and that's like yeah, real on. bumpy. Yeah. yeah. Same with mine. It's alright. But this actually feels. It, this feels sat really here, it does feel standard. Does it? Yeah. 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 It feels like a standard sporty car. This is what but like a... a I, would, I would assume that, as I say, because of the damp, it's got adjustable damping, it's the corners where you throw it round is where you'll feel the benefit. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, this feels like any other sport. This feels like a an S3 or an Audi TTS. It's that same sort of ride. You can feel the road, but it's not. It's not stupid. All oh, those brakes are terrible. They are. Is there another rumble coming from somewhere? No, that was. No, I mean, not when you're braking. No. I'm that not hearing anything good. at the minute, it sounds alright. I'm normally the first person to complain if there's a noise. Yeah, you are. No. How's it going? How's it feel going through these corners? Yeah, good. I like it. And it's also got good tyres. Gas on. Which is, which is good. Yeah, so you're, probably, you're not going to get as much roll as you would, but once you get the anti-roll bar, the new one, oh, yeah, off, got with fit. the bushes, like you'll feel it round its corner, like it will hug these corners. I mean, to be fair, it's not rolling much anyway. It's not rolling much anyway. Good. But you'll get that extra bit. It needs brakes, man. Yeah. And, and oh, we've got the braided lines to fit as well. Oh, yeah. Maybe. I'll be inclined, oh, to put, I'll be inclined for them to put Dock 5 in it. Yeah, that's what I was about to say, actually. Yeah, Dock 5. We'll do that because I've got that in stock. Let's do a full system bleed, proper. Yeah. Brand new. And your second hand. It's alright, you know what? This will be it feels alright, like I've got no complaints at the minute. No, it's alright. There's warm. no banging and clanging, so we've done a No, the suspension's good. Yeah. That on the left got... turn, that's gotta be something here. It could be. It, it could be a bit it of plastic. It sounds plasticky yeah, to me. Yeah, it definitely 100 percent did that when Did it? Yeah. That is that probably noise. rubbing on the arch. But yes, we're at the MOT station now, so um let's see if she uh just passes. Let's get out before it bursts burst, burst into flames. Yes. Thank you. Right guys, so that is the end of today. Raj, you have done an amazing job on the outside, but um, it could do with some paint on that bonnet. Yeah, it's like someone used it for a chopping board. Yeah, it is bad, isn't it? Yeah. It's really I know yeah. what happened there. What's happened? Lady, one lady owner, she mm. saw some bird poo on the bonnet, she got her scouring pad and went uh, yeah, to yeah. get it off. I mean, she missed it because it's there. Yeah, that's what happened there. Yeah, he used a blue rag, one in blue rags, what are they called? Dish cloth. Yeah. But Hello. thank you very much. You made it look the best I you mean, can. Yeah, for a maintenance wash, it's come out decent. The um, colours really come up. Like it, it looks so much nicer. It does, now. It? with the wheels. The colour looks so, so much nicer. So now she's MOT'd. Yeah, just uh, about. <laughs> and I think <laughs> no, now Mike has got some other bits and pieces he wants to do to it, and it's regarding the brake setup. So that's getting yeah. changed. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it's getting there, isn't it? It is getting there. I mean, it's, it's already quite a long way from where it was when we got got it the first in the first place. Yeah. It's come a long way. 
I know Mike's got a lot of plans, so we need to, I don't know where the rabbit hole ends really. It's a bit of a rabbit hole, but we're getting there. I'm enjoying it. I think the car's, nice. the car's a nice car and it, it handles nicely. We took it for a drive to the MOT station. Obviously you guys see that and it's, um, it drives quite nice. And no more moss on the windows. No more moss. Thanks to Ride Effect, Raj. If you guys want to follow Raj, um, I'll put the description for his Instagram. Um, it's easy. Done. Ride Effect. Ride Effect. So right here. Rice Effect. <laughs> right there. Nice. And um, yeah, that's it. And um, we'll keep you posted. Keep watching. Like, subscribe. You can follow the series. Go on Drive Tribe again if you guys haven't seen the other episode. The full build. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on with this car between the two channels. So, yeah, definitely catch up with but everything. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Nice.